Welcome to our 21 Daniel Fast Tips and Truths. These are really just simple little things that you can learn about yourself, about the fast, because this is such a powerful spiritual discipline. So I hope you'll go back and look at the other tips I've shared and those that are coming up. So number three is to learn about yourself while you fast. While you're on this 21-day experience, this spiritual discipline experience, learn about yourself. You will see so many encounters. It's kind of like a 21-day boot camp. I'm Susan Gregory. I'm the best-selling author of The Daniel Fast, Feed Your Soul, Strengthen Your Spirit, and Renew Your Body, as well as many other books about the Daniel Fast. And you can learn more about the fast and receive some tools and some helps at daniel-fast.com. So as you are fasting, take some time, slow down. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? What are the things that are going through your mind? Are you worried because you can't have that favorite food? Or is this feeling too hard? What are you thinking about? What choices are you making? Are you sticking within the Daniel Fast guidelines? Or have you not even really put the time into understanding what they are? Are you feeling like, oh, I don't have to do that? Think of what's going on. Think of what's going on. Remember, you are a spirit. You have a soul. That is your intellect, your emotions, and your will. And you live in a body. One of the great things about fasting is that it puts our whole being, our spirit, soul, and body on alert that we are focusing on God. It's also a time when we will wrestle with the flesh because we are denying the flesh. We are not catering to the flesh, which is so common in our culture these days. So what are you thinking about? What are the choices you're making? What challenges are you experiencing? What are the things that challenge you during your fast? And again, you will start feeling it. You will feel that you're bumping up against things. Here you've got these guidelines, and that's one of the reasons that there are fasting guidelines is that it causes us to have to make choices. It causes us to deny ourselves. So what are the challenges that you are experiencing. And what you will find is what shows up during your fast probably shows up in other areas of your life. That's what's so powerful where you can learn about yourself. For instance, did you just dump, jump into the fast and not prepare? And does that happen in other times in your life? Do you start and not finish? Do you sometimes even sabotage yourself? These are things that we can learn and, and learn about ourselves. So this is one of the things that I do for me when I have to wrestle with that flesh part of me, that self part of me, that ego part of me, when I really want to follow the ways of God and, and even while I'm fasting. So there's some times when I just have to tell my flesh, sit down. You're not in charge right now. I am on this fast. I am seeking God. I am opening myself up to the amazing truths and blessings and miracles that he will lead me on. But I want to be spirit-led, not self-led. So self, sit down. You have no authority over me. I am on this fast spiritual experience. The spirit is in charge. I have crucified the flesh and it is Christ who I am following. And then there's sometimes that you'll say, boy, I really want that cup of coffee or I just don't know if I can stand this anymore. And this is what I say to me. I say to myself, I say, so what? So what if you really want that piece of chocolate or so what if you want that cup of coffee? Big deal. No, don't give it power over yourself. Don't give it power over this amazing experience that you are on. Just so what? So what you've got this little craving? It's just a little sensation. It's not like you've got a six inch gash in your arm that you need to immediately attend to. 
So you need to have these little talks with yourself and then ask yourself, how do you want to show up for God? How do you want to show up for him? How do you want to show up for others? And how do you want to show up for yourself? Are you spirit-led or are you ego-led? Are you in the world system or are you walking in the spirit? These are all amazing, powerful, powerful, life-changing lessons that we can learn about ourselves. You want to be the private investigator. Why do I call it that? An investigator is one who watches, who looks for clues, and it's private because this is all about you. This is so you can learn about yourself, so you can then make those corrections, just like the scripture teaches us to to examine ourselves. So this is your opportunity to to examine yourself, to discover and learn what are those things, and make those modifications, those changes with the help of God to do that. Gain the awareness. All change begins with awareness. So become aware of the things that are tripping you up and be aware of the strengths that you have. Be thankful for those. Be, thank God for the things that he has taught you. Thank God for those qualities, those characteristics, those skills, those gifts that are inside of you. But then if there's some areas of weakness, you can attend to those. So be blessed on your fast. This is an amazing experience. Learn about yourself. Learn about your amazing God and learn about the the out of this world kingdom life that is yours to live because of what Christ did for you on the cross. Blessings to you. Be blessed on your fast.